Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as I'm sure you guys can already tell, today's video is going to be another everything5pounds.com haul video. I am very, very excited. One item in particular, I cannot wait to try on. I'm so excited. If you haven't already heard of Everything Five Pounds, it's basically a site that I believe takes items from other brands that they weren't able to sell and just marks the price down to five pounds for everything and there are some real bargains on there last time if you watched my previous video i got a pair of jeans that normally would be i think it was 25 to 30 pounds for five pounds so i'm really really excited to see what i get in my box this time i have it down to the right of me and we're just gonna go ahead and open it up and see what's inside okay item number one i'm not too sure how to show you but it has <laughs> um, a very, 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 well, it feels like I could do like aerial yoga from this piece of clothing. So this, I believe is a little play suit. It's got little, well, no, I don't believe it's a play suit. It is a play suit. It has little shorts, little floaty shorts that seem really perfect for summer, a nice little elasticated waist, and then this, um, which basically you can do whatever you want with. Um, there are lots of different ways to wrap it, it looks like. And I didn't really think this through and maybe I should have Googled how to do this. And I was just about to tell you the price of it, but uh, it was five pounds. I don't know how much it was originally, but it's from a brand called Cherry Coco. Okay, I'm pretty much in love with this play suit. If you guys have watched my channel for a while now, you will know play suits are my favorite item of clothing. I would spend my life in a play suit if I could. I just think they're so cute and they're just so comfortable, aside from when you need to pee. But apart from that, I love play suits. I love the colour of it on me, looking in the viewfinder. I just think it's a really flattering colour. The shorts are really nice and airy and comfortable. They are elasticated at the waist, as I said. And then the top half, you can pretty much do whatever you want with. I've gone for over the top, twisted in the back, wrapped around the front again and then bow in the back and obviously you would probably wear this without a bra i'm not that confident so i might have to find another way to wrap this however it's just really really cute i just think it's really really versatile i feel like you could wrap it in a certain way that would be comfortable for going down the beach and then wrap it in maybe a more seductive kind of way if you were going out for a date i just feel like you've got all of the options here and i just love the color of it it's gray but I feel like it's a certain kind of grey. Am I being weird? I don't know, we're gonna move on. I love this, thumbs up, yes. I think I may have ordered the same play suit in two different colours. I really have a feeling I have because this looks identical but pink. So, <laughs> yep. Um, I obviously really like play suits. This one obviously screamed out to me because I also bought it in pink. So I'm gonna try this one on and we'll try and tie it a different way and see what that's like. So this is the play suit on. I feel now like I didn't really explain the play suit when I tried the first one on. So this is the play suit in another color, exactly the same play suit, and this is what it looks like very, very basically. So we have little elasticated um, shorts, which are very, very nice and billowy and comfortable. And then these extremely long um, fabric rope things. And basically, you can just tie this however you want. So when I did it first time, I went over the shoulders, um, crossed it in the back, went round the front, and then tied a bow in the back. That was the first one. So then on this one, I'm thinking... Okay, so this time I've halter-necked it at the back, which obviously you could now basically just tie in a bow. But I'm thinking maybe if I wrapped this round... There we go. So this way is now a halter-neck little play suit number. So you can just change this however you want, do it however you feel comfortable. I feel like some people don't like halter neck, so they cannot do halter neck. Some people rather a little bit more cleavage. I don't have much to speak of, so I'm not in those people, but if you are, you can just dress this up and down however you want. I really, really like them both. So I clearly got two, I promise. I didn't mean to do that. I don't even remember having both in my basket when I checked out but I appear to have one in grey and pink and I'm not complaining. The next item is bright yellow. So a little bit out of my comfort zone, but we all know when I go out my comfort zone, I seem to enjoy what I buy. So we're going with this. This is also actually by Cherry Coco. So it's another from the same company. It's bright yellow and it looks like a lace 
number. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know why I've picked this. Not because it isn't cute, but because this is just not something I would normally pick. Um, I mean, I guess if you're shopping for only five pounds, you can try whatever you want, but still. I am not a big fan of the kind of cap sleeve style thing, but we're just gonna try it. I don't know if this looked different on the model than it does holding it up, but we're just, we're just gonna try it on. We're just gonna see what this is like. I'm nervous. I don't think I'm gonna like this on me. I've shoved on a little pair of denim shorts just so you can see what this would look like. I really, really don't like this. I'm not too sure why I picked it. I feel like I know I don't like the cap sleeve type thing. Maybe I just thought I'd go out of my comfort zone. Maybe the model in it looked really, really cute. But now that this is on, it's not for me. I don't feel confident in this at all. I'm sure some of you are looking at this thinking that's really, really cute. Like I can see how on someone else I think it was cute. But on me, I'm not loving it. I'm not loving it. Although I am enjoying the colour. I like the yellow more than I thought I would. I'm actually, I'm kind of a fan of the yellow, but I just, I, I'm just gonna take this off. I don't like it. Next. This looks really cute. Oh my gosh, these look so cute. Is it a skirt or shorts? It's shorts. Oh, look at them. They are so cute. Oh my goodness. And the quality feels so nice. So they're from a brand called R and F Fashion. R and F Fashion. And it feels like a pretty soft lace, not the harsh, itchy lace. I'm really excited to try these on. Look how cute that pattern is. So these are the shorts on. Wait a minute, let me just crop this. That crop, there we go. Okay, so I probably, mind you, I was gonna say I probably wouldn't wear this top with these shorts, but it doesn't look too bad. These shorts are so freaking cute. And are they see-through? I don't think that they're see-through. Are they? I don't feel like you can see my underwear through them, which is good for white clothing, because I don't know about you, white clothing is nearly always sheer. I feel like I say cute a lot, but these shorts deserve the word cute. Look at them. They're beautiful. As you can see, they do have a little elasticated waist and then two little ties, which can't actually be used as ties. They are just kind of stuck to the front, but you can obviously tie them in a little bow or do something cute with these. And then these shorts. I'm just so happy with my purchase. I'm just, I'm just so happy. I feel like these look like the same shorts. They're from Arna. I feel like I've maybe got the same shorts again in a different style. These are the blue version, I think. They look super similar. And they're from the same company, yep. Now they are both small medium. However, I feel like the elastic on these shorts is much tighter. And I don't mean smaller, I mean tighter. Like if I pull on this, it feels hard to pull on. But the waist on these feels quite springy in comparison. So I think they are the same shorts. They are very, very similar to each other. Both absolutely adorable. Obviously these are white and blue and these are blue and white, if you will, but they are both super adorable. I'm excited to wear these over the summer months. I just, I just love shorts and I love loose fitting, like breezy shorts on a beach. Not that I feel like I'll necessarily be walking on sand anytime soon. Yes to both of those and on to the next item. Okay, the next thing is a bit of a long shot. I'm really into cycling shorts at the moment. Only good, good, good quality cycling shorts are a lot of money, and I kind of just like wearing them around the house. So when I saw some for five pounds, and in pastel colors, I thought, we're gonna try this. We're gonna see how these are. So I'm not expecting too much from these. But as long as they're comfortable and I can wear them under a jammy top, I'm excited. Okay, they feel interesting. Not gonna lie, they don't look great. We're just gonna try them on. They don't feel like um, cycling shorts. Okay, these are definitely not the quality of cycling shorts that I necessarily wear to the gym. Um, I'm not even gonna lie about it. They do not feel 
the best material for working out in. If anything, they feel, I don't know how you describe it, but not like workout material, you know? However, I did buy them for the purpose of wearing around the house as cheap cycling shorts, and they fit the bill just perfectly. They are comfortable, they do fit nicely, they do stop my legs rubbing together. Um, they are high-waisted, which I like, and then under a little jammy top, because my jammy tops are similar to these tops, under a little jammy top, perfect around the house. Yes, and they're pastel, so we're gonna take them. We're gonna, we're gonna stick with these, and if you do follow me on my vlog channel, which if you don't, you really should. If you do follow me on my vlog channel, then you'll probably see some more of these because they're, they're gonna get worn, they're good. Let's try on some shoes. So these are the first pair from Renda and immediately I'm questioning the size of this box. It looks a lot smaller than, I feel like with my size feet, this is the box I'm used to seeing size wise. This looks way too small for me. So I'm wondering if I got the wrong size in these shoes. They look kind of cute. I've just realized I haven't painted my toenails. Do I try these on with socks or do you just see unpainted toenails? That's the decision I've got to make. I feel like it's unpainted toenails for you guys. Okay, on initial glance, they look pretty cute. The fabric feels pretty soft. The gems look slightly cheap, if you will, but they were five pounds, so we are not complaining. And then the heel, the heel feels pretty sturdy. So on first looks, we're good. They're getting a thumbs up. Let's see what they look like on my feet and if they fit. Okay, so this is what they look like on. They feel really comfortable. The heel feels really sturdy and it's a little bit of a chunky heel as opposed to a stiletto. So it feels, I feel very, very stable on these shoes. They don't feel like they're gonna break. They are obviously secured on by a little strap and a buckle so you can adjust that. And yeah, Moom or Moo? I don't know how you say the brand, but that's who they're from. Also, there's a little, I don't know who is carrying their shoes around in a box like a handbag, but, ooh, actually, this is a brilliant design for when you've just bought shoes, that's how you carry them home, rather than putting them into a bag that they barely fit in and then awkwardly carrying the bag handles but the box doesn't really fit. Genius. Whoever came up with this shoe box design, genius. Little handle, amazing. Yes. Let's see what the shoes are like. Okay, they're black, they're heels. Okay, they're too small for me. These were 39, the other pair were 39 um, European size. These ones are a little bit tighter, and then also because my foot is just, my foot's just a complex individual. We're gonna say no to these because they don't fit. However, they are a pretty cute looking little high heel. They are in a really nice, uh, like Swedish material, little crisscross at the front, buckle on the side, and the heel feels pretty sturdy, and it is a pretty chunky heel, so you will feel pretty stable in these shoes. I just can't wear them. Then we have another, what I believe to be, shoe box, but this is the most decorative shoe box I think I've ever seen. I feel like you buy these shoes and you're getting a free decorative box because this really does look like a deck, like you go to the shop and pay 10 pounds for the box. Do you not think? I really feel like it's a nice box. Okay, whoop. <gasps> they look like cute sandals, please fit me. These are the little sandals. Let's see if they fit. <gasps> they fit. <laughs> okay, how cute are my new little sandals? These are adorable. They fit my feet really nicely. And there's a little bit of flex to the sole, which I really like. They're made of like a, ropey material they look super beachy they get a yes and they're five pounds i feel like i've managed to get all this way through this video without mentioning the fact that everything i'm showing was five pounds it was five pounds for only five pounds so when i saw some for five pounds which is just madness five pounds just five shoes cute adorable and decorative box okay i've been waiting all video to try on these. I'm really excited, a little bit nervous looking at the way they've been packaged, but I'm really excited to try these on because these are, ladies and gentlemen, reversible jeans. 
reversible. Have you ever heard of reversible genes? Now, I'm really hoping that I've got that right and that by my definition of reversible, I mean I can flip them inside out and I've got two gene designs because this gene design is like a bluish, purplish, flowery design and fingers crossed, reversible means there's another, there's another pattern on the inside. I don't know why they've been packed like that, but these are the genes. And as you can see, they are, wow, they are an out there pattern. It's really, really nice, maybe for wallpaper. I don't know if I'd wear it on jeans, but regardless, this is what's on one side of the jean. And then on the other side, normal jeans. Oh my goodness, how does the button work? But this one is just for show, and this one pops in and out. The little zip headpiece can flip around to the other side so that you can use it on both sides of the zip. And you've got two jeans, two in one jeans. Okay, we're gonna try these on. We're gonna see what these are like as a pair of jeans normally, and then we'll see what they're like flipped inside out. These are the jeans on pretty decent pair of jeans they are comfortable they are more straight legged as opposed to skinny I personally am a skinny jean wearer however comfortable fit nicely they're nice and then and then we can turn them inside out and I'm gonna try and do a little camera trickery here so bear with me this is one side of the jeans and then BAM these are the same pair of jeans, but flipped inside out. I feel like I've just discovered something magical. Personally, I don't know if I'd wear this jean design, but if you could get a pair of jeans and then the other side be lighter or darker pair of jeans or have a slight pattern, genius. Two pairs of jeans for five pounds, ladies and gentlemen, two. Look at them. I could wear these jeans to a little party, stay over the night, wake up the next day and put on my clean jeans and no one needs to know they're the same pair no one or or i could go out in these i could spill food down myself pop to the toilets flip my jeans inside out new outfit clean jeans genius just genius just genius Okay, so that is it for today's video. I really, really do hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite items were and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.